peace, Morris. Let's go. Let's go, Morris. Know yourself. Know your enemy. Know your environment. Let's go, Morris. Islam. Arm, leg, leg, arm, head. Let's go, Morris. Y'all ready? Talking about critical thinking. It's us right here. Huh? It's us right here. It's us right here. Huh? Ah. Peace and love to all the Moors, all the Muslims. Come on in. Come on in, Moors. Let's build. Let's build a little bit. Y'all want to build a little bit? Let's build a little bit, man. I'm feeling that track right there. I'm feeling that track. DeVito, I'm feeling that. Let's build a little bit, though. So, look. We're going to kick it off right here. Out of this book. Right here. See this? Right here. Holistic Philosophy 101s. This is what we talking about. Islam to the more, Mashal Talib, my fools, El Bay. So we're talking about this right here. This right here. What it say? It say, in human life, most people enslave their minds and spend their energies to serve their bodies and satisfy their desires, thereby mistaking the servant for the master. In the higher orders of the universe, which human life was designed to reflect, spirit is master and energy is the tool through which the spirit expresses its creativity in material form. In order to harness the power of the universe for the benefit of humanity, human beings must pattern their bodies as well as their minds. On the universal order of creation reflected in nature and the cosmos known as the Tao. This is what we're talking about. See, we got to start reflecting our physical bodies. Like as much as we go to the gym and put all that energy into our bodies at the gym, we got to reflect our minds as well as that because it's always mind over matter. Physical, mental and spiritual. Mind over matter. That's why the eyes in the center. So back over here, as you see, for this is the context in which human life evolved. When practicing the Tao, one must learn to balance physical health and vitality with spiritual awareness and virtue. For that is the one and only way the Tao works. Peace, Morris. Listen, man. See this symbol right here? Look. You see this symbol? We, we, we moving around tonight. Peace and love to all y'all tuning in. So we moving around. So you see, know yourself. Know your enemy. Know your environment. Physical, mental, and spiritual. The eye is in the center, activating that pineal gland. Then you come right here. Somebody asks where I get my turbans from. I got this turban right here. This Shamag, I got this off Amazon. But you can holler at the Fez dealer. Hit up, hit up the Fez dealer. He on IG. Hit him up. So you see, arm, leg, leg, arm, head. Then you see the pyramid. Abentiquo, the Moorish divine and national movement of the world. This is a worldwide movement. This ain't just in the Americas. This ain't just over here. 
people be having this misconception in their mind like Moors is just over here. Nah, Moors are worldwide. Whether you think the planet is flat, round, a triangle, a square, the Moors are indigenous to the planet. So this is the this is this is some of the power and the force coming from knowing that knowledge. So look, you know how they say, like our people don't know themselves. This they be saying. I got a clip for y'all. When they say, "Well, our people don't know themselves," we have been systematically programmed not to know ourselves. But that time is dead. How is it dead? Because we studying, we building. We beaming out. Look, watch this. Watch this right here. Watch this clip. Hey, I, in the I want y'all to hear this right here from the beginning. Let me bring this speaker over here. I want y'all to hear this from the beginning. Watch this. Some of y'all might have seen this clip. We're going to run it up, though. Americans, because I worked in the black marketing department at Coca-Cola, mm -hmm. where we were selling Coke to our people. And the vice president came in and said, okay, we are now African-Americans. We were like, alrighty, African. <laughs> I heard this white woman was sitting next to me and she said to another white woman, they don't know who they are. Mm. Wow. That's what I said. Mm. And I and I'm I, I'm gonna take my wig off and I'll be honest. <laughs> I did not know what to say to her. Mm. I didn't know what to say to her. But in a way, it's kind of true though. That now you see, and this is what we gotta build off, Morris. This is what we have to build off. That's why we have these beam outs, and that's why I appreciate all y'all out there that do beam out and share light because it's gonna take all of us. It ain't gonna take individuals. It's gonna take all of us to share information. So we can each one teach one so we can start knowing ourselves. Keep in mind, strengthen up your mind, strengthen up your physical, strengthen up your spiritual. Know yourself, know your enemy, know your environment. Anybody that's, ta that's talking about when people ask, Kush, who the enemies? How we, how we know who the enemies are? Anybody that's going against this right here is the ops. If they not cheat, if they not teaching... Government, see, if they're not talking about learning government, that's the ops. If they're not telling you to learn about ourself, law and master, that's the ops. If they're not telling you or showing you evidence of anything about how that symbol right there was the original symbol on the back of that one note, that's the ops. If they telling you studying law ain't going to change nothing, that's the ops. If they telling you not to use critical thinking and say, where the slave ships at if they still, if they captured 60, 70 million so-called African-Americans, where the slave boats? And they say, that was a long time ago. Don't worry about it. That's the ops. Need to reconsider your circle. Need to reconsider who you listening to. Need to reconsider who you surround yourself with, who you taking advice from, who are you building with? You see, because believe it or not, you are who you hang around. So if you hang around birds over there, that's all they all they do is chirp, complain, whine. If all they do is that, you need to think about re uh, reconfigurating your circle. Because look, if they not telling you who this woman right here is, who this Moorish woman right here is. If they not talking about her, ah, uh, they ain't talking about Queen Charlotte. They ain't talking about her. So when they talk about, well, that was a long time ago. That ain't gonna change nothing today. You think about, you think about who you around. Look, you think about who you around. So when they say stuff like this right here, you see old girl right here. We can't hold her, the one before her. We can't hold her accountable. Let me go back. Because 
of what she's saying right here. This is just real. African Americans, because I worked in the black marketing department at Coca Cola mm -hmm. when we were selling Coke to our people. And the vice president came in and said, okay, we are now African Americans. We were like, all righty, African. <laughs> you see, we can't hold her accountable because at that time, a lot of this information wasn't available. So we can't hold a lot of the elders, like, keep them where they where they at right now be like oh it's all y'all fault nah because they didn't have a lot of information a lot of them did but a lot of them didn't have a lot of information the thing is today what are you going to do with the information that you got now what you doing with it today what you going to move around with today and put something out positive so somebody else that's younger than you they could pick up the, the footprints they could see where you was at and walk them footprints through the rough terrain. What you laying down? That part. What are you laying down? Feel me? Peace. So look, then you say this right here. So since she's saying she didn't know what to say to that European who, who said they don't even know who they are. So let's go to who we are. Let's go to who we are. This is who you Moorish women are. This is who you Moorish man are. This is who we are. Moorish women, us Moorish men. This is who we are. Gods. This is who we are. See? It's a frequency, fam. It really is a frequency, fam. You hold up. You need to you need to see it. You need to you need to see what I'm talking about. It's a frequency. Listen. It really is a frequency, man. Listen. This is who we are. He just hit a 930 hertz frequency <coughs> known as the frequency of divine harmony. It's the God note. Our voices, our living being bodies, our spirits are connected with the frequency of God, Allah, the great architect. Our bodies, our spirits are connected to that kind of energy in real time, real speed. It's just catching the wave that you just heard. You just heard little man. He's giving out a 963 hertz frequency out of his body. That's not a machine. That's actually a living. You need to, you need to hear that back. You need to hear that back. that 
I mean, you you can't help but feel that because he's hitting a God note. So when you say, when you say, nah, I can't, I can't do that. I don't have, I don't have the the ability to learn that. I don't have the mindset to ever get that, fam. You doing yourself a disservice because you saying that you can you are not a god. You are a god. Listen, man. It's the mentality though. It's the mentality, fam. This is why one of the things as you see is knowing yourself. You got to start knowing your we have collectively have to start knowing ourselves, trusting ourselves, having the confidence, the supreme confidence, knowledge, wisdom and understanding of knowing ourselves, knowing our enemies and knowing our environments. Physically, mentally, spiritually fit. And this is one of the principles of Islam, the M of Islam. You see what's going on? This is the last principle, the crucified zero of Islam. You see, it is the mark of the master and signifies that when one has completed the 360 degrees of learning on one level, he or she must now embark on the first degree of the next. This is this is Islam. This is I self law am master. This is more science. So this is what we got to start doing. We have to change the frequency, the hurts. We have to get off of this frequency. This is a negative frequency. This right here is a negative frequency. This right here, well, little homie, this is a God frequency. And this is the frequency that we are harmonically looking for. It is through our birthright, our nationality, our religious creed. This is the God frequency, not this. This is not the frequency we need to operate on anymore. This shit dead. This is the frequency we have to start operating on. High frequencies. God frequencies. This is our frequency by birthright. We have a divine birthright, a divine origin. But if you're operating on this frequency right here, Negro colored black, you're not operating on a divine frequency. You operating on a frequency of low vibrations, low energy, negative energy, the polar opposite of positive energy. This is why this right here has to be flushed, born again into the minds of men, women, and children. This right here is the American flag. These are the principles, the high principles, high science, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Here they is right there. There they go. Right there. That's our science. That's our science. So when you say, well, what does that have to do with what we can change right now? The frequency that you can change right now is to get off of this frequency right here. Get off it. Let it go. Now, when you start knowing yourself, that means that you do away with fear. So you're not going to have fear to get away from this frequency. But in reality, staying on this frequency is going to bring mistreatment, abuse, negative behavior, self-hatred. Look around. Just look around. Look around at all the people that got self-hatred. They really hate themselves, but they scream out how much you can't tell them about themselves. Just think about it and look around. You out here in the trenches like I'm in the trenches. Look around. How many times you might come across somebody, they just got a look on their face like, don't say nothing to me. And you like, damn. And even if you do say something, even if you ain't even on that, somebody just might have a look on their face like they just having a rough day. They face look old. It's, it's scrunched all up. And it's like, damn. That's why the prophet said, Moors, love instead of hate. 
When you love instead of hate, you're operating on a God frequency. The blood in the body is flowing. The face look younger. The spirit feels alive. You're not thinking about negative energy. You're thinking about God energy, healing energy, mental energy, physical energy, spiritual energy, Kundalini energy right here. This is the operation. This is the operation that you're moving in. You operating on this frequency. See, you're operating on a holistic philosophy frequency. This is why the snakes are going up. The chakras from the root to the crown chakras and fly off with the wings of my yacht into the ethers. This is what you're looking at. You're looking at more science. You're looking at the chakras and you're looking at the ascension of Kundalini energy to the crown. And you're looking at the wings of my yacht fly and take off and expand through the ethers, through the cosmos, through the universe. But if you're operating off negative energy, negative frequency, negative vibration, i.e. black, African-American, Native American, Indian, person of color, you're opposite of this. You cannot ascend with this. You can only ascend with this. You can only ascend with this. You can only ascend with using this. You can only ascend using this. You can only ascend using this and knowing this. You can only ascend using and knowing this. This is why the Morris Divine and National Movement is a movement of the planet, the Al Moroccan Empire. It's written right there. Hold up. Do I got one in my pocket? Let me see. Do I got, hold up. Do I got one in my pocket? Let me see. Let me see if I got one on me. Do I got one on me? Yeah, I do. I got a slug on me right here. It's literally written right here. It's literally written right there. This is the original. Look. This is the original. Check it out. We use this every day and ain't nobody ever broke this down to us. So we got to start each one teaching one. We literally use it every day. But how many people pay attention to the symbology on the back of it? Look. See that pyramid right there? This is the original, ab antiquo, which means ancient. Time immemorial. The only people that are ancient on this planet... Are Moors. The only people that are ancient on this planet are our people. Bing bong. This is why when you look at our people throughout the ages, you see people that look alike. Those are reincarnations. This is why you say, man, I seen somebody that looked like you before. Yeah, I know. You got a familiar face. Yeah, I know. Because we are divine and national beings. <laughs> That's why. We just got to reawaken and remember who we are. That's the key. You got to remember who you is. And you see you see this right here. This is why they want to get away with with they want to go to crypto. They want to go to the they want to go to Bitcoin, Coinbase. They want to get away from the symbology of this. You see, once they go to this crypto and all that, it's over with. If people accept them, accept the digital coin, which is a fraud. Once they go to that, this is completely out of sight, completely out of mind. This is where the push is coming from to get away from this. It's bigger than just saying they going to crypto, fam. When they say they're going to crypto, they are symbolically getting away from this. They are already away from this because they went away from gold and silver coin. But they want to take a then they took a step off again when they went to paper. Now they want to take a step off again and go to Bitcoin, Coinbase, tokenization. 
How can you have a bit? Think about this. How can you how can a coin be a bit? How can a coin be a bit? How? How? How can a how can a coin how can a coin be a bit? I mean, how does that work? A coin be a bit? Bitcoin? Gold gold is <laughs> gold and, and silver are not bits. Gold and silver, it is what it is. It got a stamp on there. A national seal on there. So how can sil how can coins be bits? You see the how you see how they they slowly removing people and people don't realize because their minds are distracted. They in the gym all day. All day. They don't have a mental workout. They got a strong physical physique. A strong physical workout. But they don't have a strong balanced mental routine. They don't have a strong balanced spiritual routine. Their spiritual physique is not as strong as their physical physique. Their mental physique, a lot of people, it's not as strong as their physical physique. We got to be well-rounded because that's what Allah created us to be. Mentally, physically, and spiritually fit. And this is what's going on right now. Knowledge yourself. We are not black. See? You know how they say... You know how they be saying when they say stuff like, well, King Solomon's temple, King Solomon's temple. And how they can't find King Solomon's temple. They can't find King Solomon's temple. They don't know where King Solomon's temple is. Let's do a little knowledge on that real quick. You want to do a little knowledge on that real quick? How much time we got? OK, you want to do a little knowledge on that real quick? You want to build? Let's build real fast. Let's build a little bit. We popping out of the book, Isonomy, the great Masonic secret, Master Keys. Let's build on that a little bit. Let's build, let's build, let's build on that real quick. Let me see, let me see what we got right here. I was feeling that DeVito though. Let me go back to that. YouTube. I was feeling that DeVito. I was feeling that. Let's go right there. I was feeling that. Let me get a little more of that. Let's go. Let's feeling that. So when we say about King Solomon, first and foremost, though, let's go to Allah. This is on page 175. We on page 175 out of the book, Isonomy. All right. So what it say? <coughs> it says Allah means the Moorish woman who is the mother of modern humanity. Male and female of all different shades of skin or hues. Talking about Allah. All right. Talking about Allah means the Moorish woman. You Moorish women. Hmm? Al-Quran means the chronological record of the Moorish nation, namely the science of the 12 signs of the Zodiac, the universal and constant, the universal law and constitution, geometry, the square and angle of 90s. Speaking of the angle of 90s, we come right here. What did it say? The four quarters of the master symbol are what? 90 times four. That's 360 degrees. So when you see this symbol right here, you're looking at 360 degrees. OK, because you have 90 degrees going down. Then you go off right there. And you hold up. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look. All right, we moving around, but do your best to keep up. All right, so this is 360 degrees right here. 90 degrees times four. See the four quarters? 
just like the moon. Okay? Now you come over here to the ancient secret of the flower of life, volume two. Watch how I tie in together. And you come right here. And you see this? You see how it says the crown, pineal gland, third eye. 45 degrees in this angle, you have the chakras. So you have 12, 11, and you have 10. Now you think about the clock. Okay? Now you have these angles that's resembling the same thing as this. See that? It's resembling the same things. Let me go right here with that. Because I'm feeling that. The same things, Moors. Hold up. Let me turn this on. Hold up. Turn this up. Let me turn this up real quick. The same things like this right here. And this is more of science. Crown, pineal, chakra, 10. 45 degrees off the pineal gland. Okay? Remember how we was talking about that God note, that little homie hit, the young moor, the Godhead, the pineal access. Look, we talking about knowledge yourself. Know yourself, know your enemy, know your environment. It's all, it's all like together. It all goes together. Physical, mental, and spiritual. It all flows together because all is law and law is all. So you got the Godhead, pineal, third eye, throat, heart, Christ, will, ego, sex, survival. This is the eight chakra system. All right, one through eight. And you just go to the piano. Look at the notes on the piano. It's interesting how it's still the same correlations. The 13 chakra system. All right, the piano scale and the 13 chakra chromatic and eight chakra major scale systems all coincide and flow together. See, 13 and eight. See that? Then you come right here. See the crown, third eye, nose, chin, throat, heart, heart. See that? Soul plexus, will, ego, sex, survival. And look at the notes right on the piano. So when you play the piano, you're using, you're literally using both sides of the hemispheres of your mind. So you're really playing a God melody inside your head. Feel me? So you, this is what's happening when we're playing the piano. This is why when they say you could play the piano, you pretty much can play every instrument as far as reading the notes wise. Because this is the motherboard of music, the piano. See how I go together with more science? See, see, what, see, how, see how it flows together? On Chief, this, it all flows together. And this is out of the book, The Ancient Secret of the Flower of Life, Volume 2. All right. Hold up. And we come right here with it. Hold up. And we'll say this right here. When they're talking about King Solomon. King Solomon. What do you say? What do you say about King Solomon? It says what well, for King Solomon? King Solomon is the earth which contains all the elements. Wealth and the forces of nature. Thus, the earth is the storehouse for all of the wealth of creation, which makes it the wisest man, quote unquote. Ah, King Solomon. The wisest man on the planet. So also the human body contains all the elements of the earth. This is why they can't find King Solomon. Because King Solomon is the storehouse for the wealth and creation. It's actually the planet. <laughs> this is why they can't find what King Solomon is at. Because they're looking for something as far as material. 
and not realizing that it's the forces of nature and the elements that make up the planet's creation. That's King Solomon. See that? Now, when you talk about why they can't find King Solomon, you go over here to this book. Peace and love to the prophet, Noble Ali. You go to the exhuming of a nation. So you go over there, you turn to page 101. Then you see King Solomon, a Christ. On understanding Solomon, quote unquote, one must first look into the origin of his of this name, which is actually an attribute. So King Solomon, the name is actually an attribute of Christ. OK, Solomon is a high collective attribute of three languages, three of them. What you got? You got soul, Latin meaning solus, the sun. Om, you know how they make that sound? Om, that's Sanskrit. Om, um, the sound to light. Then you got on or on, Ethiopic. I was feeling that. Then you got Ethiopic, high God, spirit. So Solomon is actually. Solomon is actually three words put together, just like Merkaba. Merkaba's correlations, the correlations is, is insane because it all flows. Look, let me show you this real fast. So when you talk about Merkaba and you're talking about Solomon, you're talking about three words put together. Look, look at this. Mm. Where you at? Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. That shit crazy. Let me show y'all what I mean. All right. Hold up. Let me put it right here. Let me show y'all exactly what I'm talking about. Let me put it right here. Look. Mm. I'm feeling that track too though Like Murakaba Right Look. Yeah I'm feeling that So you say this right here Now keep in mind That Solomon Is an attribute Alright High collective attribute of three Languages not only three words, three languages. Wow. Then you come right here and you say, okay, well, what does that mean for me? What can I what can I do with that information? Then you have Merkaba. We on page 309. Out of the ancient flower of life. The Merkaba is the human light body. The human light body. Why do you think we call it the torchbearers of civilization? Bing bong. This is why we're called the torchbearers of civilization. Look at her right here. Look at that Moabite right there. What is she holding up? She's holding up illumination. Huh? Illumination. You Moorish women and us Moorish men, we are the bearers of the, of the torches, of the light of civilization. So when you say this little light of mine, like you go to the church, and you say, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. You talking about the light inside yourself. You are the light. You don't have to go outside to get the light. You already got the light. You don't have to join a, a, a lodge to say you are you 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 in seek of the light. You in search of the light. You are the light. You are already the light. You ain't got to go nowhere. You got to find yourself. That little voice that be tapping, that you hear tapping you on your shoulder, that's Allah telling you to come on in into the light, which is knowledge itself. Physically, mentally, and spiritually fit. You see that? That's critical thinking. That's unlocking your God energy. 
That's knowing that everything that you see in front of you is signs and symbols that we forgot. So we got to remember who we are. This is how you be born again, because you remember your ancient science of your ancient foremothers and forefathers. You have to remember. You can do it. You just have to remember. You got to know that you could do it. Feel me? You got to know that you could do it. That's what it is. Hold on. I'm, I'm feeling that. I was feeling that right there. Hold up. I was feeling that little demo. So, uh, I was feeling that. So when you're talking about Merkaba, the human light body, the human light bodies, who we are, huh? Who we are, who are the human light bodies? Huh? The who are the Christ? Who are the Christ? So when you say the ancient Egyptian mystery system, <coughs> when you're talking about that, you're talking about Merkaba. The Merkaba, the human light body, was everything. Without this knowledge and experience, the other worlds were impossible to reach from their way of seeing. Do you see what this say? Fam, do you think we really are supposed to just be locked in on Earth, fam? Is, is that where you think that we just supposed to stay? Fam. You know, it's this book called Ancient Wisdom of the ancient what is it? What is it? Wisdom. It's called Wisdom of the Ancients by Lama Song Rampa. Fam. We not just on this planet. Like this might sound wild, but it's a whole big old universe that's out there. And our people have not just been located here. We ain't just been located here. Where well, you just think like this is the only place that we've ever been to. Like this, even if you think that the earth is flat, a triangle, a rectangle, an octagon, Whatever you think that the earth shape is, you're still on land. You breathe in air and your body, our bodies are made up of water and we drink water because without water, we would die. Land, air, water, jurisdiction. So when you say human light bodies, Merkaba, and you say without this kind of knowledge and experience, the other worlds were impossible to reach. So that means we have the ability to mentally propel ourselves to other universes, to other worlds. Where do you think they get these movies like Doctor Strange and all that? Because they study the knowledge. Merkaba has the same meaning in several languages. In Zulu, it is pronounced just like in English. The spiritual leader of the Zulus. Credo Matwa says his people arrived here from space on a Merkaba. What? They arrived here from space? Just a quick little thing, though. Just a quick little side note. You know that you Moorish women, like we saw right here, you Moorish women. Do you know there's nothing on the planet? Listen to me. There's nothing on the planet. They don't even know where y'all came from. They don't know where y'all came from. The Moorish woman. And there's nothing on the planet that is exactly like you. You Moorish women. Nothing on the planet is like you. Nothing. You can get that information if you get Clocks of Destiny, Volumes 1 and 2, Brother C.M. Bay, Peace to the Moor, you can see that right there. And you say like, wow, there's nothing in creation like you Moorish women. Moorish. Not this. What you say? What you would say? Uh, Where you at? 
Not this. You feel me? Not this. I'm feeling that other beat though. Hold on. Go back to that. Not this. See, we're not this. Remember how we was talking about the Merkaba? We was talking about energy. We was talking about the God sound, the God, the God gene. They're trying to figure out how melanin works. And melanin is a God gene that we have. But everybody has melanin, though. Everybody has melanin. Even European hybrids, they have melanin. But it's not based off melanin, though. It's a God essence that we have. And we are in tune once we once we. Attach ourselves back to our nationality and birthright, Allah will get will start shedding more light because we putting up positive energy to the ethers. We putting up love to the ethers. You put that love up in the ethers, fam. That's the connection. We talking about the ignition. The igniting of the lamps of illumination. This is what we're talking about. We all have these abilities. You just got to remember. So you say this right here. Keep going. <coughs> what it say? It says in Hebrew. For my people out there that say they they Hebrew Israelites. It says or, or speak Hebrew. It says in Hebrew. It is Merkava. And means both. The throne of God and a chariot. What? In Hebrew, it is a it is Merkava and means the throne of God and a chariot? A vehicle that carries the human body and spirit from one place to another. Oh wow. Oh wow. For my peoples out there that speak Hebrew. Ibri. It's really Ibri. For my peoples out there. That speak Ibri, we talking about a chariot. We talking about a vehicle that could transport somebody, human body, spirit from one place to another. Merkava. Merkava. Bing bong. The in Egyptian, the word Merkava is actually three words. Myrrh is a special kind of light, a counter rotating field of light. Ka means spirit. At least here on Earth, it has the connotation of the of the human spirit. And Ba means the interpretation of, of the reality. What? The interpretation of the reality. Which here on Earth usually means the human body. When you add these words together, my understanding of Merkaba is a counter rotating field of light that will interact and translate the spirit and the body from one world into another. Though it is really much, much more. It is the creation pattern itself through which all that exists has originated. Bing bong. All that is has originated. Come on, Morris. <laughs> Come on, Morris. Fam. Fam. Come on home, fam. Come on. Come on home, fam. Come on home, fam. Get away from this frequency right here. You got to get away from this frequency right here. Got to get away from this frequency. This frequency right here is not a God frequency. This is not a high frequency. This is a negative frequency. Low vibration, low energy. This is why. So when you say Merkaba or you say King Solomon. When you make that sound. When you make that sound. Um. You make that sound, you're actually putting energy out there from self to the universe. 
This is why it's a common, it's a common feeling, fam. We, we really, the way that Allah created us and the likeliness and the image of the creator, fam, we ain't even like tip the iceberg on what our bodies are really have the potential to do. But we are not our bodies though. We just the spirit, the spirit man, the spirit woman. You feel me? So when you say Solomon, Solomon is a spiritual force that unites divinity and matter. Carnal man has been looking for Solomon's temple. Solomon's mine and Solomon's treasures since the European first pillaged Africa. The reason they have been unsuccessful is because everything about Solomon as defined in the name is intangible and imperceptible. Solomon's came through the sacred family called Nazarites. A Nazarite is a sacred, not secret brotherhood. Of all souls whose highest station acquired is that of a Christ, quote unquote, K-R-I-S-T. See, so when they say Christ degree, we all have the ability of Christ degree. Every Nazarite is a priest within himself or herself with purified thought patterns to become Emmanuel, God and man. Some of its members are known as major prophets, saints, messengers of the highest degree of guidance to man. They never die. Repeat, they never die and are eternally in the universal infinite order of Makauzadek. Strong. Strong. Hmm? Huh? What you think Allah sent you to do? Huh? What you think? What you think? What you think he? What you think Allah sent you for? Huh? Huh? What you think Allah sent you to do, fam? Hmm? And when you, I seen somebody wrote something about what you think that, that I focus on. No, I'm universal. I don't, it's no particular focus. The focus is love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. That's the focus. It's not focused and locked in in a box. You got to be universal because Noble Draw Lee was universal. Law is universal because Allah is universal. It's not locked in one box. Get out of the box. Become universal. You can't be in a box. You got to be universal. Physically, mentally, and spiritually fit. You can't be locked in no box. You locked in a box, somebody going to close the door on you. Now you trapped. See that? Can't never be locked in a box. You could be whatever you want to be. Not me, though. So when you say Solomon, you're talking about three languages, attributes. This is why they can't find Solomon, because it's a spiritual force that unites divinity and matter. Mind over matter, not matter over mind. It's always mind over matter because our minds can do so many spectacular things. Our minds are super galactic things. Super galactic. They can't even figure out how strong the human mind is. They'll be like, well, man only uses a certain percentage. They can't even figure it out. They can't even figure out what's going on at all with the human mind. They can't even figure it out. So you say this right here. As far as you Moorish women out there. Let me go back here. I was feeling that. I was feeling that right there. 
So when you say, well, what is, what is, who is Queen Sheba? Queen Sheba, you ever heard of Queen Sheba? The Queen of Sheba, you ever heard about her? Who is she? Queen of Sheba is the five great principles. This is the Queen of Sheba now. This is, this is, these are, these are allegories now. They're allegories. Out of the book, Isonomy, the Great Masonic Secret. We on page 175. Follow along if you got the book. Then you say, Queen of Sheba. These are allegories, though. So you say, Queen of Sheba is the five great principles of the 12 signs of the Zodiac. Namely, wisdom, understanding, unity, peace, and progress. King Solomon's temple is the body of man and earth. The body of man, the real temple, is created by mother from conception to birth in the course of nine months without the use of nails and the sound of a hammer. Thus, the human body is the temple of good of mother's grand perfection referred to in, myst in, a, referred to in mystery as quote unquote God. The union of 1863 tradition, quote unquote, white and quote unquote, colored Masons are a universal, disgraceful violation of the supreme laws of Masonry. Bing bong. These people that's put that's in these lodges. You in these lodges is it said right there. That's universal and disgraceful. It's disgraceful that you in violation of the supreme law of the universe. Black, white, colored. Nah. Remember, we operating off of God energy, off a of high frequency. This is what we operating off. So you talking about you talking about high level conversations, uncomfortable conversations. These are the kind of conversations we need to be having. We need to be sharing each one teaching one because we as Moors, not, not, not black. We're not white people. We're not red. We're not purple. We're not green. We're not none of that. We Moors. We know who we are. Our nationalities is, and birthrights is, lo is locked in tight. We know who we is. We the lamps of illumination. And Europeans, Europeans who know what time it is, they wait no more. They wait no more to look to get in our rightful positions. They waiting on it because they've been out here and look at the chaos that's in soon. Look at the chaos that's in then just took over the planet. And now it's time for Moors to step back into that God frequency. That God frequency. Are you on the God frequency? Because this is the God frequency. This young Moor right here, God frequency. don't even know what they're feeling because the young Moor he struck a frequency 
known as the God note. We are talking about a frequency of divine harmony. So spirit recognize spirit. Once you hear the spirit, you know what it is. Once you feel the spirit, you know what it is. Once you recognize your higher self and you balance out your lower self, you know what time it is, fam. You know. You just you just know what it is. Once you hear it, you know what it is. Stop him singing. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna like really hear the young boy. I really wanna like hear what he what he sound like singing that sing another song because that's healing. That frequency is a healing frequency. And our people, when you go back, when you travel back, mentally travel back to the times of Atlantis. You go back to the Atlantean times, to the Lemurian times. Those are Moors. You go back mentally, astro travel back. You can do it. You go back because you can remember, because you're studying yourself. You go back to those Atlantean times, those Lemurian times. We used to heal ourselves with God frequencies. The tones that we used that we used to collectively. It's this book you could pick up. Where is that? Uh, this book right here is called Atlantis Rising by Patricia Corey. Atlantis Rising. You pick up this book right here. Because I'm gonna slide in a second. Pick up this book called Atlantis Rising. It goes. In on the struggles of darkness and light, but it specifically goes in when it's talking about the Atlanteans, they diets, when they used to go into the pyramid, the prisms, and they went up in there and they used to all operate off sound frequencies. So when they went into these pyramids, they actually energized their entire cities based off it was it was like like a shift like one one particular shift they would go up in the pyramids when it was daytime they would all vibrate off this off this mental frequency off this vocal vibration they would go in there and they would all harmonically be in tune to the god frequency then another shift to come in there and then another shift to come in there that was during the Lemurian times, the Atlantean times. Astro traveled back to them times because time never was when man was not. You literally can go back to those times when you put your mind to it. This is how powerful we are as living beings. Talking to you moors out there, man. Telling you. And the Albions that are out there they are in tune because they realize, fam, Moors, we got to get in tune. We get in tune with our God selves, we can heal the entire planet. And this is what the dark ones, they don't want us to get in our God selves. They want us to be combative, kill each other, murder each other, hate on each other, be greedy towards each other. All negative energy, all negative vibrations, all negative frequencies towards each other. Can't get nothing done. You can't heal when your mind is in a state of murder. 
You ever seen somebody do, you ever seen somebody finna get on some, on some motherfucking mask up type shit and they had on some music like Lil Homie, like the Young Moore? What would you think if you was in a car, y'all masked up and something like this came on, on the music? Y'all finna go do a hit and somebody in the car just threw this music on. What would you start thinking? Yes, sir. That sound, right? That frequency, that energy, that vibration, that particular sound is a God sound. You recognize it when you're in the spirit. You just recognize that's it. That's that sound. So if you was going to get on some murder, shoot them up, bang, bang, rob somebody, and you just happen to catch that frequency around you, you automatically would just be like, you gonna definitely stop. You gonna look around, and then you gonna be on some. Wow, you definitely gonna think. You def because that frequency is gonna strike your spirit. Soon as you hear that frequency, like, yo, it's gonna hit your spirit, and that is the Merkaba. That is the Merkava. That is Solomon's temple. That is Queen of Sheba. That is more science. Feel me? I hope y'all got something from this beam. I'm finna move around right now. All right? So I always love building with y'all moors. Even you Albions that be tuning in, man. It's all love because it's each one teach one. The time for hating each other. The time for all the low vibrational energy. It's going to take all of us to defeat the monster. It ain't just going to be on some, well, we just going to have our people do it. Nah, we ain't going to, we ain't going to help. We ain't going to, nah, it's going to take, if somebody is operating off a of high frequency, you just know it. You, you just feel it. You just see it. You can hear by their words, their energy. Sometimes somebody ain't even, you ever been around people that's on the positive side? They operate on a high frequency. They don't even necessarily have to say nothing. They could come around you or you could go around them and it's an automatic magnetism attraction like, man, it's, you just you just get it. You feel me? Like they ain't even saying nothing. It's just their aura. You just you just get it. And you just know like, all right, you operate on a high frequency. You're not operating off a negative frequency. You're not operating off a black frequency. You're not operating off. A vibe that just fuck with me. It just fuck with me. It ain't it ain't even a vibe that I fuck with. It's just a vibe that I don't fuck with at all. I don't fuck with it at all. Only high frequency. Only high vibrational. Only high energy. Now don't get it twisted. It's going to be times where negative energy forms up inside of self. And to redirect that negative energy... That's when you're on the course of mastering self. That's when we're on the course of mastering the lower self. Because we operate off of high principles, but we still have a lower self. The lower self is the triangle pointed downwards. But that still is the six-pointed star. 
And that is Islam. You see? That is Islam. Fam. We can go into that a little bit later. But you realize, once you realize it, once you really realize it, that the higher self and the lower self working together is the star David. That is the balance. Once you really realize that, that you, you are the Jew L. Once you really realize that, and you're going to be like, what am I, what am I, what have I been looking around for when I'm already the Jew L? Jew L? Bing bong. That's you. You really are the Jew L. <laughs> you really are the Jew L. You know what I'm saying? You really are the Jew L, man. All right. So let me show you all these books before I get up out of here. Yeah. Feel the vibes. Feeling the vibes. Mm. Feel the vibes. Hey, I appreciate y'all tuning in, though. Real life, though. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Sharing y'all time with me. Building. Sharing the beam outs. Let me show y'all these books, though. Get some screenshots. Y'all, we we the lamps of illumination. Huh? You got questions? Hit my DM up. You said go back to this one. Yeah. Operate on that higher self, man. Y'all check this book out right here by the more. Huh? Truth Ali. The ancients. You talking about this one? Yeah, you definitely could start with the blue one. You can start with this one. You can start right here. You can start right here. You can start right here. Yeah. Start right there. You can start right there. You can start right here too. It's wherever you want to start at. It's wherever. It's wherever you want to start at, more. That's the beauty of the whole thing. It's wherever you want to start at. Wherever you want to start at. That's the beauty of whole more science. Yeah, it's wherever, it's wherever you want to start at, man. Wherever you want to start at, Morris. That's the beauty of more science. Get this one right here too, though. Yes, sir. It's long. Get this one right here, though. Get this one. Oh, you said, uh, you said wisdom of the ancients. Wisdom of the ancients. That's this right here. Wisdom of the Ancients. Yes, 
Yeah. Islam. Yeah. Don't forget. Don't forget. This right here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Peace and love to all the Moors. It's our time, man. It's our time, man. They trying to take us out. We ain't going. We ain't going. Because we on a high frequency. We ain't this. We on a high frequency, Moors. We on a high frequency, right? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to holler at y'all Moors, man. Don't forget. Don't forget. Each one, teach one. Teach your little ones. Don't wait till your little ones start to get older and older. Teach them right now. Right now. Start teaching your little ones. Why they babies. All right? Appreciate y'all Moors, man. You got questions? Hit me in my DM. I'm gone. Slum.